Who ever played the, those games when you were a kid, those choose your own adventure books? Anybody ever read those books? Where you go, you know, go down the path with Mary or go, you know, stab a hooker with Jim or one of those things. So I'm going to let you guys choose today, and that's how which path we're going to start. So uh, I need some, someone to use you. So it will be A or B, and I'll let you guys decide, and then that's the path we're going to take. So A would be starting attacking the turtle from here. Okay, this is A. B, turn around, face me, would be attacking the turtle starting from this direction, in lines. So who wants A? Seven. Who wants B? I guess B is. We're going to start with B. We're going to get to some of the stuff in A. There's probably three hours of stuff I could do just in this alone, but we'll, uh, we'll get there for you eight people that feel a little left out now. So we're going to bring in probably a little bit too. Okay. So one thing that happens in judo all the time, guy, yeah, this happens like this. Everybody gets, and they do the give themselves a straight jacket, nobody loves me like I love me, just hugging themselves like this, right? So yeah, I mean, you can sit here, and like, it's a little bit hard sometimes. Can you just grind them in there and get in there? Sure. One easy way to get people to open up somewhat, otherwise they're gonna like smash their pretty face on the ground, okay. is to give them a pull, right? And you gotta pull them like you mean it. If you just do them like this, then you just drag them. We're not, we're not running the tractor through the grass, we're trying to, we're looking for here, pull it. This happens here, right? So when we do this, this knee, it can be either side, and I'm showing you from this side. It could also be like that way. Whatever. I'm right-handed, so this feels the best for me. So I pull him, and this knee goes right next to their head. Okay? Let me turn around. It's gonna be easier if I do it this way. So when I snap him, boom. Sometimes you'll land on their arm, it's kind of happens. This leg is gonna come and flare. Your heel's gonna flare their arm out, okay? Does everybody understand that? This side over here, I'm gonna reach through and just keep your arm. If I can grab like the inside the cuff, then from the front and the back, this is perfect. If I can get this, awesome. So the first attack that we're gonna do is a side triangle. So the first, I'm gonna show you guys a couple different ways of how to initiate or, or how to get into it, but this would be number one. So let me just show you the entry again, because without the entry, we ain't got shit, right? So we're here. He's doing his thing, give him a snap. This goes in, this leg, I'm always looking to hook this in there, okay? It's keeping him, this leg is doing one or two things. Yes, I'm lacing it in there, but he wants to keep his elbow to his body. So my leg being there, he can't pull his elbow to his body anymore. I blocked it. Now to get into the, I need to grab the, either from the front or the back. I usually like to do it like this way, because it seems like he's not as strong that way, or she. Now I'm gonna fall on my left hip, okay? And this leg is gonna, I had it like this, but as he falls, I'm gonna switch it into like this. Does that make sense? This arm, I'm not gonna keep holding it like this. I usually grab it like this. Triangle, ultimate finish, like that. Show it again, because I know that's kind of a lot. You've never done it before. You can get me off of this accident right here. That's so good. Oh, oh, oh. Here. And then, I grab this. I'm going to fall on my left hip. This foot is going to scoop this one here. I'll usually dig this in, grab my lapel if I want. Alternately, if anybody, I have another, uh, let's spin around. Let's spin, spin. Uh, uh, I can't spin that place. <laughs> so, alternately, another control point that you can do is uh, I have a class online that I've taught at a bunch of camps. Uh, also, some judo ground. It's called Magic Grip. I'll take this and then lock this up like this. So, whatever you want. It could be like this, be like that. To finish the triangle, let's start back around again. Some people have a really hard time finishing this triangle, okay? If I'm up here on this, this isn't closing anything off. This is just pulling his arm. I want his shoulder in there. 
okay? So I'm gonna hold this, and I'm gonna try to scoop under, I want the shoulder blade in there, okay? If not, I, it's just real loose. So I can back, grab the back of the arm, or I can grab the piggy, scoop, heels to the butt, finish. Out of those 400 steps, does anybody have a question? Let's practice the entry. The, the triangle, we, we, can, we can add on to that for a minute. Yeah. How do you address the uses if they don't have the belt? If they don't have the belt, grab his pants, man. It's legal. Just don't grab what's inside the pants. That might not be. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if the belt's on there, I mean, obviously, like judo, like a lot of times, like the belt doesn't come off as much as jujitsu. It depends on the, the course of events that happens. But yeah, like if you can't get that, there's no problem with grabbing it. You know, just don't give them the. A oil check, that might not be the play, but <laughs> or not, it'd be a defensible bar you hang out in. <laughs> Does anybody have any questions about setting that up so far? Does that make sense? I know it's kind of like, uh, if you've never done it before, it seems like a lot of things. I'll show it one more time slow. Let's just let's just practice getting into it, okay? Yeah, let's just go from here. We're here. It could be standing. I kind of like to do it like this so I can, uh, I'm just a little bit more on his level. So I'll pull. This way comes. Reach here, grab whatever I can get. This is probably perfect. If I can grab the cuff like that, it's super strong. If I don't have the belt, I can grab the, the hip, this little thing, this. Usually I'll just grab something here. Ball. Just, or for some reason, you can also, this is a real sneaky one that happens here too that you can. Any questions? Well, we don't clap. We've already made that pretty clear yesterday. The tiger thing, we did that. What do you guys want to do? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You be, wasn't my idea. You be the judge. We're not going to hang out here too long, but I wanted to, because uh, some of the other classes that I, that I taught, it's called the Magic Grip. It all enters, you can enter it off of this too. So like everything I do kind of connects. So let's just, let's just work on the first part. Yeah, but let's, baby stuff. And then we'll, uh, we'll get into the weird crap here. Probably is weird for some of you already. So here, if you can get it in like this right away, with the arm out, your leg in, it's gonna do a little swirl off the field here. This leg is behind the arm. I saw some of you like trying to, if you don't, Get that in there quick. Can you snap them. What, what are they going to do if you don't get it in there? That's the whole idea of the snap, is to get that leg in there. So you need to kind of be fast on the draw, because otherwise you're just going to be playing this. If that's what you want to keep doing. Okay, so we're here. Now, this is where we're going to draw. This, this is, you have to get this leg in. Okay, this arm you can go fishing for a little bit. Right, because this is easier to get than the leg to the back. So if the arm is already out, it's no problem. You can, I mean, you can the, the, theoretically grab anything that you kind of want. You just need to isolate the arm so it doesn't come into play. Right, so you grab from the front, grab from the back. Whatever it is, is fine, okay? I'm just isolating it so it doesn't start coming in between my legs and start causing me trouble. Now, I'm gonna fall. <clears throat> Switching on that because this one was like this. It was like this before, right? And now I'm switching them. Some of you maybe didn't get that. I know it's kind of a different, different concept than you're used to it, but that, that's that's how we're getting into it. Okay. Now we can go right to the time. We've essentially we're pinning him down, right? We turned him over. So depending on what your goal is, that could be it. Maybe maybe this triangle is complicated. Okay. You go right into a camera from here. There's a, let's, let's just do a control position. Let's just simplify it. So once you turn him over, so uh, we're here, get the triangle locked up, just hold him with a camera, okay, for now. Can everybody, does everybody understand that step? Any questions about that? I assume that maybe some people have seen some of it before. 
before, so maybe it's fast for some of you. So we'll just we'll slow it down a bit. Any other questions? Let's try it again. Do you have one time with the lender book as opposed to the Yeah, sure. I mean, it's one of those things. It's not a one size fits all. I mean, if I can just get an underbook, that's pretty easy. But most of the time, you know, especially these days, it's fashionable for people just to play jujitsu like this. <laughs> not my game, but like, hey, if people want to do that, that's that's on them. So you're going to get this sometimes. But you know, people will do it because of the nature of the, the sport. They're going to get stood up. It's going to get reset, right? So that's why that that happens. So here. yes, if you can just get the underhook, maybe there's nothing wrong. With it. I mean, you could even, you could essentially start a Kimura from here if you wanted to. I mean, you, if you wanted to be dirty big bro, I mean, you could just, I mean, there's nothing saying that that's not wrong. But for the sake of it, we're just, let's just control it, whether it's through the, this, belt, whatever it is. Any questions? Count it off for me. One, two, three. Now. I think maybe it's like, a, as they would say, like a happy accident. I'm proving a point. Judo is not easy, right? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, this is kind of a thing. That it seems. I mean, I guess maybe for me, I've done it like since I was a white belt because of where I came up. But it's probably a little different for some of you. But if you play with it and start using this sort of entry, it, it goes off into lots of different things, right? I mean, we're basically at the point where, you know, I'll show you another just like a quick thing. We don't need to do it because we kind of had trouble in the first one. But let's say I get all this. And I have an issue turning him. Like he's really, he's, he's basing, he's pulling me that way. He won't let me sit over. Like just resist me from sitting over. Yeah. Don't let me pull you over. Yeah. So I might kill it this way. So you can enter it from both directions, sort of like kind of crucifixes are kind of the same way. So that's just one, one thing that we're going to start on. I'm going to show you, I was going to show you something else right now, but it might be. It might be a little hard to do, I don't know. I'll show it to you, we'll let you decide. But it's something you probably have never seen. And even if you don't get it, at least you'll have a bit of an idea of the possibilities of some of the things. And then you can build upon it. Nobody's gonna come out of any one of these classes a master at anything. Even if you learned one little thing a day, it's probably better than, you know, that's, that's better than average probably, you know. So let me just show it to you and you try it. And maybe somebody takes off with it and we're a master at it. And maybe somebody else needs work, just like any other technique. So we'll just uh, we'll give it a shot. So, actually, I'll give you an easy one. I'll give you a softball. You can't do this one. Well, I don't know. This one's not so hard. So, um, also, kind of made famous by a bunch of judo people. There was a, um, she was a judo world champion. And she, I think she got bronze at the Olympics. Um, she was from Israel, actually. Her name was Yarden Gerby. And it kind of, they kind of named it like the Derby Choke. It's been around a long time. But uh, this should be pretty palatable for you guys. So Derby Choke is like this. We're here. Um, we're set up on them. I'm, I, there's many different kind of ways to start setting it up, but I'm just going to give you a nice, easy sort of thing to do. So just like in uh, wrestling or something, we have like, like a normal like over under one under the arm. Let me turn around so you, so you folks can see a little better. They'd be like, so we're here. We have this sort of thing going on. Like a seatbelt, but kind of like from the front, right? So the Gerby choke is this. You're gonna grab your own gi. Ow, right? Feed it to your other hand. When you feed it, make it a habit to go past your other hand. If, you, if you're doing this sort of thing, right? You wanna make sure you feed it far past your hand so you can get it. If, you, if you're just feeding it a bit and then you're trying to reach for it, this hand is obviously going to be in as far as it can. Go past it when you're here. You can always, if you go too tight, you can always slide down to adjust, but it's hard to go the other direction. Make sense? We're here. Help comes out, feeds it to this. I'm going to step over his head. 
this, this one's gonna come over the back, and all we gotta do is extend our leg. Very, very powerful, and no gi, and it's uh, very similar to like a Peruvian necktie. Same sort of idea. Um, I'll show you again. So we're here, the pelt comes out. This, one thing I will say, this is kind of, you might not always be able to get like the, the hooks and all these things in and like maybe the, the lapel and stuff is hard, but if you, if you keep your hands small, like, like Terminator, like little knife hands, you can kind of push in there. You can get in, inside pretty easily. So if you get this, you know, try to, you got a big old fist, well, that sounded bad, but like, if you, you know, make your hand like as small a footprint as possible to tunnel your way through there. So if he is trying to like, tighten up, yeah, you can still get it. I can feed it. I've got it, right? You get this on somebody, locked in, no joke, probably 95% chance you're gonna finish it. It's pretty nasty. Anybody wanna see it again? Or does anybody want this guy's neck? Now this is where I get the enjoyment of watching you punish each other. Because you didn't get the first technique right, now you get to hurt each other. I'm kidding. Um, anybody seen it again or do you got it? One more time, okay. So we're here, always when we're in this position, folks, if we're on our knees, are we very mobile? Can we put much weight upon them? No. Of course, sometimes things are in motion, it's, it's super fast, but in a general sense, the more we make them carry our weight, the harder it is for them to regard, to get up, all those things. So just keep that in mind also. Get stuck there in my, my holster and snatch it out. Feed it. Step up, over the back, and then all we're doing is pulling and extending. Was, that, was it cool or not? Good? I'm sorry. Like the body leg around the back of their body, can you just go? Or any, as long as this one's over the head, uh, no, because what ends up happening is you'll pull them over top of you sometimes, uh, like this. So if I get it, I mean, could I theoretically maybe if I can keep it like super tight? Yeah, yeah you probably could finish it. But if you're pulling and maybe he jumps or does something weird, you might end up something like this. It's not saying that I couldn't like recover and finish him in like a, a, a different way or, or re-engage it. But we want to. We don't want to get into that problem. We want to finish it the first time. Okay. Everybody got it good? Go choke your partner. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to ask one time. If this does not work for anybody, put your hand up. See me after. See me after. We'll do it. We're going to make it work. If you take one thing, one thing about me is I got a money back guarantee. If you don't learn anything in my class, then I'll give you whatever you, I got to give you back. So we're going to make sure you get at least one thing, okay? So, um, so everybody understood that pretty good. That's a little bit of an easier concept, maybe. Not as many moving pieces. Now, flies chasing me. My class must smell like shit. <laughs> um, okay, we'll go to this side for now. But at the end, I'll show you a couple of little bit of this ancient Japanese judo magic that I was going to teach that might be hard for someone. Okay. So, when it comes to turtle, what we're really trying to do a lot of the time, we're, we're always fighting people like tugging their, their knees and arms and everything in, right? And so, what we did with that first snap is to try to move the arms away from the legs so we could get inside and then start initiating attacks, okay? So, one, um, one thing that I like to do as far as control, and I show this, um, you guys uh, might have never seen it, but in my clock choke class, I really like to control the hips, right? Because if I don't, if I just control the hands or something like that, sometimes they can grab my arm and roll me over. Some, yeah, something like this happens. I like to control the hip. So I'm always inside the hip here like a, like a rudder, right inside the leg, and I'm straightening my arm out. So when he moves, I'm connected, and it's pretty tight, right? I can create a lot of pressure. So that's one thing that I like to do. I'll turn this around. If you learn anything, like this, way, this technique here, right? I'm, I'm cupping the inside of their leg. It's pretty common in, in judo, but it also like in wrestling, it's the same sort of thing as well. I'm just, I'm blocking myself to the hips. And when I straighten my arm out, I've created a very, if it's loose like this, you can just move around, right? 
there's nothing here, but I turn it and push. And hopefully I don't grab his junk in the process. I'm here, okay? Now, what, I, what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to isolate one of his arms, okay? So let's say his elbows are pretty tight. I'll grab this here. This is a pretty strong grip. Like even if he's, like, giving, I, can, I can move it pretty good. It's hard to, you know, to, to, to keep it super tight. So I'm here and I'm trying to get my knee inside. Does everybody understand that? Simple. So I'll grab this, pull, knee inside. All right? Also, sometimes this happens if you're trying to turn him over and the arm comes out, then I can put my knee up in easier, right? Because he's already based out. If the arm's already out, we don't really have to, I mean, there's, it's already open. So if we're trying to pull him and he puts the arm out, just take it, all right? But for the sake of best technique, we're tr let's say he's got it in and we're trying to fish it out. So I'm gonna pull it, just poke my knee in as I pull up, and I flare it out a bit. I'm pulling it away from his body, okay? This leg, that one right there. Touch your own knee, takes all the space out. And, and, and take it, okay? Let's just do this little half step first, and then we'll go to the, to the, uh, to the, to the green. So we're here, I want you to practice controlling the leg here on the forearm, right on the forearm or on the elbow, okay? And I want you to pull up as you wiggle your knee in and just flare it out and catch it, just like this one. Does that make sense to everybody? Does anybody, is there anybody here that it doesn't make sense for and wants to see it again? I'm like this on the inside of the thigh. Turn around, stand up. I'm here, like riding the inside of the thigh. That way, because if he moves, he takes me with him. Move around. Look, just move. I'm all floating with him. That, that's a really strong connection. I like doing that from a control standpoint, and it makes it easier for me to stay with it. Any other questions? One, two, three. This is kind of a little bit of a half step. I'm trying, trying to slow it down. Is everybody understanding? that entry and what we're trying to accomplish, and trying to get that arm away from the body, isolating the arm. Okay, now we're gonna, we're gonna go into a couple of little sequences here, but they can go on and on and on, so I'm gonna just show you a couple. And then at the end, I'll kind of show everybody like the big picture of what we're hoping to accomplish. That way you can, if you wanna ask me afterward, or brainstorm, whatever you wanna use. So we're here. Just trying to basic camera. Look up. Shoot that magnum at us. What's up? Hi, everybody. So we're here. Now, sometimes what ends up happening is they, they try to they think they're I'm gonna now yeah they're gonna grab your arm now right I'm gonna I'm gonna single leg or whatever they think they're doing. Well, there's an arm lock here. Okay, but that that's a it's kind of a quick little easy arm. Sorry, it's a quick arm lock. It is, but it's kind of easy to get out of if they rotate it. But then we can do the same thing to the other side. Okay, sorry. I forget sometimes. So we'll just do those two real quick. I'll show them again. Obviously, I don't know my own strength. They hold on to the arm. Yeah, if you're just straightening the leg out and bring it up. Now, a lot of times they, they try to circle it, and then you just face the back. Do the same thing to the others. These aren't always foolproof, but like if you do them quick, they, keep, they can catch the button. When you face the back, that's also an arm bar, or is that a... Yeah. It's an arm bar. But there's something even nastier. Uh -oh. It's coming. But I want you guys to digest this first. You've got to have the appetizer before you get to the main thing. All right, does anybody need to see that again? I, yeah, let me show it to you. That's like not the easiest. I'll do it super slow. So we're here, we've separated. Guys, make sure, guys and girls, make sure, don't get lazy and do all this work and then kind of just try to scoop it. Put it to your knee. Now if he tries to get his hand back, he can't. I'm scooping it away, okay? So, 
He brings the arm toward this way. All right, straight arm lock. If he curls it around. Does that make sense? Yeah, coming back over the back with it. Because otherwise, I'm, I'm in my own way. I just kind of get like, um, I'm just not, I'm just kind of like hanging out, sweet ass, something like that. You know? <laughs> I don't know, sorry. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just kind of hanging out there. That makes sense, everybody? You want to try it? Yeah. We're going to try this, and then we're going to try one more, and then we're going to be out of time, and then I'm going to show you a little montage at the end that, uh, you know, you can watch late at night with the lights turned on, okay? What? Oh, no, we, yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. yeah. So we're here. We're just, we, you know, he, he switches it to this one. Try it. It's just, it's just not working. As long as I have it still like this around the leg, okay, what we're going to do now is also known as the reverse on the plot. All right? So normally you would do this like super ballistic speed, like judo people, and like really blow somebody's foot. Don't do that. Unless you don't like your partner, then do it. <laughs> but we signed the hold harmless thing before we joined, so I'm clear for litigation if you hurt me. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put my elbow now, you understand what we have, okay? We started, this didn't work. We come back, I like to grab the arm so maybe they try to pull it out or something. I'm gonna pull my elbow here, and I'm gonna roll over that same shoulder, okay? Partner on the bottom, please roll with them so your shoulder stays intact for the rest of the camp, all right? So here, make sure one foot thing, try to keep your heel to your butt a bit, because if not, if you loosen it up, you need to take it. You're going to hold it anyway with your arms, so it's going to anchor it. Here. And you put your arm over the top of it. Okay? Everybody got that so far? Now to finish, I'm going to just scoop my hips out, and then essentially I'm going to try to kick this leg through this hole. You're not going to get it that far, but that's what we're trying to do. I don't need that. He's confused. She might be confused. Possibly in the back yard. I'll try to. I'll show it again. So we've done all this work here. Boom, 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 all this. We tried the other two arm locks. They don't, they're not working. Grab this. Elbow here. Roll. Oh, shoulder. Make sure you put your hand across the body. So they don't. Otherwise, like yeah, this sort of thing happens. Hand just got to go across the body. Speed out a bit. You want to just like a normal kimura, where you want the hand away from the body a bit. Everybody got it, right? <laughs> Anybody need to see it again? One more time. You can thank that dude in the back. <laughs> Alright, I'll show it to you real quick. We'll drill it a, a few times and then we'll uh, I'll show you the montage and then we'll uh... Ooh. You alright? Do the elbow pops. Oh. Oh, sorry man. I wasn't even doing it that hard. Anybody want to see the end or <laughs> One last final time. No. Did you get that on, on camera? No. Sound? <laughs> we got it? One, two, three. Okay, we're kind of running out of time. Um, what I'll do is I'll answer any questions that we've had so far, and then I'll kind of like show you like what we could have done if you guys didn't mess up the first one. All right? No, I'm kidding. I mean, there was many different paths we could have went down, and I just tried to make it fun, but understandable. Does anybody have any questions about any of those so far, and any troubles with those that you want to cover? Cat lady, yes. Tell me. So after you pull them, mm -hmm. you pull out your switchblade and you stab them in the chest. Oh, that's the time. Okay. I'm kidding. Go ahead. Tell me. Show me. Show me. Do, do the whole thing. Show me. It might help somebody else out. So. So we're in five. 
Oh, Party time, yep. There. Kick your own knee. Up, 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 up. Let's do it right. Go back. Make oh, sure you can. Yep, 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 yep. Go in there. And then once we're here, we move this your, no, your left arm is going to be on this side. Bring, this, bring, bring this left arm. Uh-huh. Take your left arm out and then put it here. And you can roll over the left shoulder. Uh, and keep your, oh. uh, keep your heel to your left arm. Oh. Your butt. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you lost it. You got to keep it to your butt to keep it. Now this arm comes across the body. And now start scooting your hips out and finish. You gotta try to kick this through the hole. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I'm sitting up and I kick that. Yeah, you're sitting up and kicking it. Oh. Very good. Okay. It, it's it's it kind of seems sort of simple, but it's weird if you're not used to this sort of thing. I've been playing with it for a long time, so maybe someone will be wrong. Don't worry. Just keep trying. He's videotaping it, so there's your opportunity. You got no excuse. Yeah. Um. Anybody else have any questions about? Those so far, or attacking the turtle in general, since we're kind of on that that thing. Nothing. Master, master. Red belt, red and white belt. Okay. Okay. So, bunch of stuff, guys. It, um, it's always available for you. I'll just kind of show you a few things. We'll wrap it up because there. Some people look like they want to get drunk. I can tell by the look in your eyes. Free beer, like free beer. Free beer. <laughs> So, in this position here, of course, we have all, listen, there's nothing saying that we can't start gi choking people from here. There's nothing, we can't, you know, choke from here. If, you want, if you're into that face lock game, you can do that from here. You can roll over and go into crucifix type of positions from here. All this is viable. Um, we also have like, Things like we're trying to take them down, he bases out with this arm. Base out like this. Almost like in wrestling where you do like a wrist and half. The favorite card of chokes. We have uh, hundreds of different clock choke variations from the same position. From the front, um, this is going to be weird. We have what's called a harutsutsumi, which is like a... It's like a pin. How tight is that? His body's like wrappers. <laughs> it's hard. Like in judo, an ipon, 30 seconds is a pin, right? So, we can dismount. We can stick this leg between the arms. And check out this magic. Kimura. <laughs> like, it's on and on, guys. Like, there's so much things that you can do. So, don't be afraid to be playful. I know that sort of thing, like a keep it playful thing, but there is no set rules. You know, like, sometimes moves kind of go out of fashion and people rediscover them, people add new things to them, but don't be afraid to, like, play. At the end of the day, everybody trains jujitsu because it's fun, right? And winning is fun. Catching people with weird moves, that's kind of fun. Um, so just don't be afraid to experiment. Things are always deeper than it seems, you know? There's always things that you've never seen before. I mean, I could, I mean, there's tons of weird stuff. We could go into like double lapel pins. Um, we could go into double lapel pins where he stops. I'm trying to roll him over, he stops. Back and halfway over. We have them where he stops. Right? It's deep to us. There's lots of weird stuff. It, it goes on for, for, for infinity. So don't be afraid to experiment. Have fun. Drink lots of beer. Thanks for coming. There's more classes tomorrow. Thank you guys very much.